What's going on everyone, this is McSkillet here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the top 10 most expensive and most rare skins for CSGO. What is going on guys, this is McSkillet here with another CSGO video. What is going on guys, McSkillet here with another CSGO video. And today I'm joined here with Leafy, who's got some pretty cool commentaries on his channel. What is going on guys, this is McSkillet here with another CSGO video, and today I'm going to be doing the top 5 best knife unboxings from the Gamma case so far. Hey, what's going on guys? McSkillet here with another CSGO video. Hey, what's going on guys? McSkillet here. What's going on guys? McSkillet here with another CSGO video. And today, we're going to be taking a look at something quite ridiculous. About this fiery crash that killed three people. A popular YouTuber was behind the wheel of a pricey sports car that sped into oncoming traffic on the 805 freeway. A YouTube star known as McSkillet killed in a fiery head-on crash after speeding more than 100 miles per hour the collision also killing a mother and her 12 year old daughter the collision that caused the death of aileen and ariana pizarro as well as mcskillet or trevor heitman was truly a tragedy the actions of mcskillet were unhinged immoral or could even be described as evil although we may never know what drove mcskillet's actions i feel it's important for us to remember that in this situation there are no winners, only losers. Having five years now passed since McSkillet's death this coming August, which left the CSGO skin scene shocked with McSkillet having had such a large influence over the space. And having so much time now passed, I feel it would be interesting to see how much the CSGO scene has changed. And looking through McSkillet's videos is a perfect way to achieve this. Even just looking through the first videos McSkillet made, the first video he ever made was pricing the most expensive skins in CSGO. In that video, the number one spot went to the Souvenir Factory New Orp Dragonlore with an eye by power on the scope for only $5,500. Now, if you don't understand how crazy of a difference that is to today, currently, the number one most expensive skin is the Karambit Case Hardened Blue Gem Pattern 387, which has received offers up to 1.5 million dollars not interested 1.2 million is low then i asked him for a buyout no reply compared to 5500 dollars in McSkillet's first video. Another cool thing to note about this souvenir Dragon Lore is actually after McSkillet's video, the I Buy Power foil and that foil have been scraped. So McSkillet's video is a great time capsule to show this skin even existed at one point, with it being the first and the last souvenir I Buy Power Dragon Lore to exist. Other videos McSkillet made included trade-up videos, which really showcase how little knowledge people had on trade-ups back in the day. For for example, McSkillet's Alt Boom trade up video, where he attempted to go for an Alt Boom in Factory New, however, it didn't turn out so well. <gasps> Sadly, we didn't get like the $400 factory new one as I was hoping. This showcases how little people knew what the hell they were doing when they were doing trade-ups because back then they didn't have the formula and they didn't get it till 2016. This is why trade-ups were so profitable back in the day because nobody knew how they really worked and it was really a niche whereas now it's a lot more figured out and it's a lot harder to profit from them because of that. McSkillet made various other videos videos which influence YouTubers to this day. However, during this video, I just wanted to mainly focus on the value of skins and how they've changed today from before when McSkillet died. And one of the most interesting ways to look at this is through McSkillet's inventory value. Now, when I was planning this video out, I noticed someone had already made a video friendly on this topic. However, I realized after watching his video that his numbers relating to the value of McSkillet's inventory are incorrect. That's why I just decided to make the video myself. Now, the price checking itself from Friendly is correct in my opinion. However, where he went wrong is McSkillet actually had two inventories rather than one. One was for trading while one was his personal account as you can see in his 750k subscriber special. So I've recorded McSkillet's inventory value in two different spreadsheets which I'll link in the description. A lot of the price checking is for one of one so it's subjective so I'm happy to hear your guys opinions on my price checking in the comments did i get something wrong let me know 
Firstly, I'm starting off with McSkillet's trading account because it's a bit more boring and we can get through it pretty quickly. For the most part, it's just a lot of liquid skins. The only notable skins in there is his stat track minimal wear aka redline with 4x eye by power dreamhack 14 stickers pretty clean in my opinion but nothing too crazy as well as his orb medusa with a titan paper also pretty sexy but nothing too crazy although he may not have had anything too insane on this account just due to the raw volume of items in this account he reached quite a large sum with the total of his trading accounts value being somewhere around $750,000. Moving on to McSkillet's main account where he actually played, he had all his play skins on it, it was his main account and this is where it gets crazy. So many of the skins in this inventory are one of ones, skins that will never exist again. Some of them you could say they're priceless. However, the most crazy thing about this inventory is when you look in it, it's just as if McSkillet left it today, with some of his most recent items being free bayonet fades. Now, to a regular viewer, this might not seem too significant. However, if you watched McSkillet's videos back in the day, it's quite obvious that he was planning a giveaway just before he passed away, since he consistently did similar giveaways all throughout the history of his channel. And although not too valuable, it just feels real eerie that the inventory's just been left just as McSkillet left his PC last. Some of the craziest skins he had in his inventory. Firstly, the Orp Medusa with a Titan Hollow on the scope. He crafted this himself, he made a video on it. Valued around $27,500 currently. He also owns the number two lowest flow AK case hardened pattern 661. Before he died, it was number one, but since has been beat. This is an absolutely insane skin and no doubt the most expensive item in his inventory. Going off recent sales, I would say the skin goes around $200,000. However, this is just my estimation, but either way, it's a very expensive and classy item. Another absolutely insane skin McSkiller owns is this mixed Caddo 14 Hollow Stat Track Factory New Deagle Crimson Web Craft. There are very few mixed Caddo 14 Hollow Crafts as good as what is on this Deagle. And the fact it comes on a Stat Track Factory new Deagle Crimson Web is just insane. An insane combination, which I currently estimate to be worth somewhere around $40,000. He also owned this duped Stat Track Factory new M9 Bayonet Crimson Web. Although it's duped, it's still very rare and very expensive, currently going around $17,000. He also owned some very rare souvenir skins like the souvenir factory new for mass sticks which was a one of one now gone forever as well as the orb pink dd pat olaf pass both of which are insanely rare and quite expensive he also had a vast mlg columbus all stars collection all of which are very rare very hard to get mcskillard himself conveyed his struggle to obtain these souvenir all star skins in various of his videos and now they're all gone forever. McSkillet also had various other very expensive and rare skins in his inventory which I'll show up on screen. With the combination of all these very rare skins on his main account, this gives McSkillet's inventory a total of $700,000 to $750,000. This is due to, although McSkillet having far more valuable items on his main account, having far less volume, thus causing around the same price as his other account. This gives McSkillet's inventory value when both his inventories are combined somewhere around $1.5 million currently, which is absolutely crazy to think. I doubt anyone in the CSGO player base from 2018 would believe that skins would go to this far a height after the closure of OP skins McSkillet's death and all the negativity that happened around that time. That concludes my thoughts on how things have changed. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike, comment, all that. Other than that, cheers guys. See you in the next one.